In this tutorial, I'm going to show you several different methods of resizing images in Affinity Photo version 2. The first one is something that we can set up before we even load the image. So if you start with the blank document instead of loading your image, so if I head to File, New, in this pop-up I'll have a chance to create a brand new project with the exact size I need. And then I can scale the image to the size of the artboard. So we're kind of doing this in the reverse, but it's a very effective method, especially if you know the size in advance. So let's say I know I need an image exactly 6 by 4 inches. It's here on the list. 4R, I click Create. And now if I drag and drop an image, it will open up in the new window like that. I can quickly copy this, Command C, Common V and I can see how huge this photo is comparing to my artboard. Let's zoom out a bit to see the scale. If I grab the move tool, I can see that this artboard 6 by 4 inches only covered a little portion of the original file. So I can now just pull this corner down, scale it all the way and kind of modify this image. Let's zoom back in with Command 0. And I'm sure about the size because I set up the size for this artboard and I can be playful with the, the image I'm putting on it. So that's one way. This way you ensure that you got exactly the size you need. And now I simply need to export that file export as the new image in that size I choose before. All right. But as I mentioned, that's rather unusual method. So let's do it the proper way. So I will simply drag and drop this image into the program and it's automatically create a new project for me in exact size. Now I could grab a crop tool where I can type a new size at the top. Let's say I need a square crop 3000 by 3000 for some social media and now I type it in and I can move it around and I can even change the size by mouse. If you are not super serious about certain number, you can even modify this by mouse. Holding shift, you will maintain that original aspect ratio set up. All right, and then you can of course rotate a bit if you wanna correct that as well and you hit enter and you crop in this size exactly. All right, what if you don't want to crop anything out? You just want to scale it down and that's it. In that case, I will head here to the top menu. If you head to document, there's literally option for resizing document and resizing canvas. Let's learn the difference by trying it out. Let's resize the document first. Now they show me the original size. Keep this on if you want to maintain the original aspect ratio. And now we can just type in the new size we need. Right now it's in pixels, but why not to change it to other format we need. So let's say I need centimeters. So I need this to be exactly 25 centimeters wide and the height will be generated based on that original aspect ratio. We can also adjust how many dots per inch we need. DPI for print is recommended to keep it as 300. You can decide you want to resample that or no. Okay, so again 20 and now I will resize. And it seems like nothing really happened, but actually we already changed the size of it. Now we got new size. How can we quickly tell? If I just turn on the ruler here, so I can press Command R for the ruler, or I can head to View, Rulers. I got centimeters set up here, so I can see from 0 to 20, that's the wide of the image. So that's the one I just set up a moment ago. All right, let's try it again, but this time we will use the second option. So I head to Document, and this time I'll resize Canvas. And you will very soon see what's the difference. Let's say I want to make it even smaller now, 15. And I click resize. 
And as you can see, I changed the size of, of the project, but I didn't change the size of the image that is loaded in this project. So the image is still here. Now it's popping up because I make it smaller. I can here click this toggle to unlock the image and I can manually refit it back to that canvas. So if you scale the document, you're scaling everything in it. If you change the canvas, you're changing the size of the project paper, but everything in will be in the original one. So that's the difference. So I guess that's the most common method. Document, resize document, and then put your new size here and you are good to go. You can export that in the new size. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.